Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Two steps taken by Governor Fubara which may quicken his impeachment. The political imbroglio denigrating the relationship between the River State Governor Simini Lai Fubara and his SY political godfather Yisong Wiki, which has degenerated into a split within the State House of Assembly may cost the governor his seat, except divine interventions with sacrifice are offered. The situation of the crisis could be considered manageable until yesterday when the embattled governor, Fubara, encouraged some factors that arguably might be taken as ones that might have eased him out of the government house. Certainly, Governor Fubara took two steps yesterday, which may not only encourage but also justify his impeachment by the warring members of the state House of Assembly. Recall that Governor Fubara has the support of just five to six of the 32 members River State House of Assembly, with the majority of the members, about 25 to 26 of them supporting the former governor of the state. Yisum Wiki, in this course, remembering this, one would condemn both the governor and his advisors for opting for the demolition of this River State House of Assembly complex at this crucial time when he is at loggerhead with his master and with lesser supporters from the members of the House. The timing, the decision, and the tactics are wrong. Most importantly, for opposition governor who does not have the say of the president. Most disturbingly, Governor Fubara decided against a bride of Mr. President. Two things may occur, and unfortunately, Governor Fubara lacks political goodwill to favorable influence. Either this will be discussed after touching on the second step Governor Fubara wrongly took yesterday to move himself closer to impeachment. Illegal relocation of the House of Assembly complex. When the news of Governor Fubara's presentation of the River State 2024 appropriation bill was unveiled, unveiled briefly after it was uncovered that the House session was held illegally inside the River State Government House. What came to the mind was, this man has finally opened an express way for his impeachment. Danger ahead. Now, Governor Fubara has destroyed the State House of Assembly complex and created space for any 
of the factions of the state lawmakers to hold their session and take effective decision at any location within the state. Don't forget, with the demolition of the State House of Assembly complex, the House is automatically in recession and the business of the House is supposedly suspended until after the renovation. However, it, if this is to stand and for anyone to fought a declared illegal any decision taken by the 26 lawmakers, lawyer to wiki, it means River State would not have any budget to run the state in 2024. This is because Governor Fubara presented the state's 2024 budget to four lawmakers who are loyal to him, not within the assembly complex, but inside the government house, which is not known to the extant law of the state for legislative business. This, Governor Fubara, has laid a solid foundation for his express impeachment. The federal and judiciary determinations. The federal executive and judiciary type of government will be approached for a resolution on whether the impeachment of Governor Fubara by the lawmakers lawyer to Wiki is legitimate and should be enforced. Silly, why the court will entertain the legitimation, the federal government, federal executive, where Wiki currently belongs, will be required to either enforce Fubara or a new acting governor of the state as the chief security officer of River State. So guys, how do you see to this analysis, this matter? I see this as an oppression of the highest order against Governor Fubara and the people of River State by the ruling party, APC. Please kindly share your thought on this. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.